Prince Andrew used to be known as Randy Andy. Well, now he's angry Andy as the Duke of York faces eviction from his £30 million home, the Royal Lodge in Windsor, which boasts 30 bedrooms. That's a million quid per room. Nice work if you can get it. But Charles may cut his income so he can no longer afford to keep living there and maintain the building. It must be a nightmare for poor old Andy. And if he's watching, let me offer the prince this gift from the team at Mark Dolan tonight. There it is. It's the world's smallest violin. Don't forget, this is a prince who has brought the royal family into disrepute with his friendship with known paedophile Jeffrey Epstein. And he made a fool of himself and his family with that Newsnight interview in which he claimed to have a disorder in which he doesn't sweat. Well, he's sweating now as he faces life on the streets. I wouldn't go that far, of course. It turns out the privileged prince has inherited millions from his late mother and father and has enjoyed a reported annual salary of a quarter of a million pounds from the royal coffers since 2001. Our modernising, dynamic new king, Charles III, who I think we can all agree has got off to a cracking start, wants to have a slimmed-down monarchy. And the first lump of unwanted fat that they should get rid of is Andrew himself, who hasn't just shamefully discredited members of his own family, he is a national embarrassment. He feels so unloved in this country, apparently, there's press speculation he may follow Harry and Meghan to America. They've got a massive place in Montecito, California. Lots of billionaires there. He likes billionaires. Why doesn't he lodge himself with Harry and Meghan? Apparently, in their mansion, they've got 16 bathrooms. Perfect for a guy who is so full of crap. Andrew goes to America. Perfect. Allow me to pay the airfare myself as long as it's one way. King Charles is right to deal with this fat cat royal because Charles wants to demonstrate that the new improved monarchy 2.0 is in step with the modern world. To earn its keep, to run a tight ship and give the great British public some bang for their buck. You get the wrong kind of banging from Randy Andy. And don't forget, Prince Andrew is a man who has been gifted a house by his own mother when he got married but sold it to an Arab businessman for 15 million quid in 2007. This is a man who settled out of court to the tune of millions against his accuser, Virginia Dufre. To be fair, he has protested his innocence from day one. No problem. He may have been stitched up. Who knows? But either way, his behaviour has been below par for a top royal. And he hasn't shown an ounce of contrition for the embarrassment he's brought to his family and to his country. Who could blame his older brother who has served the country with distinction and integrity for decades from turfing old Randy Andy out of his current digs? Andrew will be fine, of course. He has a personal wealth you and I can only dream of. He never has to work again, not that he did in the first place. So it's time to dislodge this royal lodger from the Royal Lodge. Andrew should be getting sweet F.A. from his home sweet home.